Hey, what's good, everybody? It's me, your hero, Benjamin Banks, and you're watching Leveling Up with Benjamin Banks. And today we're doing a review for episode five of American Horror Story double feature, Gaslight. So before we get into today's review, joining me as always is my co-host from the Leveling Up with Benjamin Banks podcast, Trav the Trash Man Martin. How you doing today, bro? Hey, we chilling. Hey, we chilling. We just got done talking about Ryan Reynolds and Samuel L. Jackson and looking up all of the films that they've been in and everything. And uh, mm -hmm. I want to say, well, we've been talking for like 30 minutes and we just like, oh, snap, we still got a review to do. So before we get into today's review, make sure that you like this video, you subscribe to the channel and you hit that bell button. So that way you're always notified when we have new content here on Leveling Up with Benjamin Banks. And Trav, as D always says. Hey, man, you better like you better follow and you better subscribe, baby. Podcast in the description. Let's go. That's right. So let's go ahead and get into this review. Man, what another incredible episode. It's just like just by the title alone, Gaslight. You already know that it was going to be a lot of gaslighting in this episode. And your girl, Alma, I, look, bro, I had put a tweet up on, um, on Twitter and I was just like how Alma was looking when she gave her mom that pill. She knew what she was doing. She knew exactly. She oh, was yeah, of course like, she knew what she was doing, bro. Bro, she was just like, we don't need her. She kept on telling her dad that. It's just like, why are you keeping her around? And Harry was just like, look, that's your mother. <laughs> it was just, uh, it's just crazy how Alma is, bro. Especially, it's like when, we, when we're first introduced to her, of course, like she's kind of like a creepy girl, but it's like she was loving. And it's just like, after she took that pill, it's just like, F her. I don't care about her. She's a horrible mom and we don't need her around try it's like it's just messed up because it was funny well it's not funny it was just messed up because no, it's, it's just funny like, after she took the pill it's like she was upstairs she was doodling and everything and she she felt like she was doing something and she is like ah, ah, like your boy that, that's Cole. right they hit her with that red light uh-huh -uh. uh she bro she came out the uh came out the bathroom she was starting to go bald and Harry was just like, no, no, no. Why did you take the pill? And Alma was just like, hey, she had to take it, Dad. She's in the way. Hey, Harry knew. Mm -hmm. Hey, bro, Harry was in the hospital when uh, she had the baby. And Doris, she was in the bed. And Harry, he went to that bathroom and he drank all that blood because he was thirsty. Mm -hmm. I'm surprised he didn't try to kill anybody when he was in the hospital. And yo, it's crazy. And I can't explain why. But it that really grossed me out for some reason. Oh, for sure. All that dirty blood, man. It's, yeah. Uh, uh. Yeah, it was it was nasty. I'm I'm cool with him getting the blood from the meat, but the blood getting, from the meat. <laughs> but we talk about, that, you know, baby vagina towels. Yeah. It was just it was nasty, man. But bro, so I can't remember that Ursula, did she take the pill or no? No. Okay, so she's just she's just a HBIC. Bro, she know better than to take that pill. Uh, she's trying to she's trying to profit off of it. Oh yeah, yeah, she know her role. Mm -hmm. That's what I'm it, saying. This chick is something else, bro. She had no like, fear. But I mean, it's just like when I look at it now, it's kind of like Ursula's moving in, and she's like, "I'm a, I'm your mom now. You can call me mom because she does. You can. It. Ursula ain't trying to be no mom, bro. Hey, I mean, but just the way she act, and then when we see Doris in the uh, field after she's finally transformed and mm -hmm. she's eating that animal and it's like i felt bad for her because it's like this entire season uh she's been like trying to be the member of the family that's kind of like that's that dumb that's holding them together from doing whatever they want to do but it's just like almost just like nah like we don't need you like we'll we'll be good without you and it just sucks. It's like at least at least she had the kid before they got rid of her. But still, I I, I can't remember that Alma went. Uh, oh, that's right, Alma. She was she was feeding off her uh, her yeah. her sibling. I really hope they go they go a little crazy. And I'm trying I'm trying to see something happen to this baby, bro. Like I'm yeah. trying to I'm trying to have them take it to the next level. Mm, I mean, it's a possibility that it can happen. I mean. Cause we let's see, let's um, eat this baby. Let's eat this baby. Let's, I mean, bro, let's like get that's, crazy. That's pretty much what bell was saying. Like she told, mm -hmm. Oh, Karen, that's what they want. He was like, yeah, I want you to get that baby. But bro, like speaking baby of Karen, bro, you see this dude, Mikey, man, it's just like, hey, he's living the good life now. Bro, I feel bad like, for Mikey, bro. Hey, 
Mikey, he had that Kanye West song, Good Life Playing, because he got the car now. He he looking good. He's doing well in life. And like the whole thing with him and Karen, and he's just like, I want you to be with me. I want you to take this pill. And yeah, I thought that Karen was about to die. And she fought, she took that pill. Mm-hmm. And them, them monsters, they was gonna kill her. And she took that pill and you know, it looked like she was about to be ready for the world, and then she killed Mikey. But I mean, I understand why you feel bad for him, though. I do, man, because it's like if he if he just didn't keep trying to get her to come on board with him, mm-hmm. he'd be all right right now. He'd be you know yeah. speed racing it up right now. But it's because he kept trying to go back for Karen. It mm-hmm. was his downfall, man, and you know. You know, I'm not saying Karen didn't love him too. You know, she, her, she thought it was best to put him out of his misery and then put herself out, man. And that was that was a cool scene, man. Like when she slid herself, bro, she went deep, bro. Yeah, it was pretty gruesome. Mm-hmm. 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 Yeah, man, it's just uh, it's just wild. I mean, if, do you think that uh, we're gonna see Doris in next week's episode or? Oh yeah. You- because I mean, it's like she's still in the same outfit that she was wearing. It's like she's not dressed like the other pale people, which is uh, interesting. Because I mean, I feel like when she was transforming, she transformed faster than the other pale people. Because as we saw with the other pale people, it's like it took them a while before they actually started transforming. Whereas with her, right. it's like she she was doing the art, and then after she did the art, she went to sleep, and then we see her come out of the shadows and it's like she's going bald the shadows yeah so i mean it's just interesting man uh you know next week's episode is going to be the last episode for um this part and then right. we're going to be getting death valley after that hell and yeah. i can't wait to see that i'm ready man bro i'm telling you like you know these aliens and the pill like they're all connected because remember the chemist she said that she used to work for the government man and as I, I'm, I'm just calling it right now, so I can't wait to see what's going to happen on next week's episode. You have um, Bell and Austin who are still trying to kill the gardeners, and right. I just want to see what's going to happen. I mean, I feel like, of course, I, I do think that Ursula is going to die next week. I'm calling that right now. Um, okay. I feel like Harry's going to die too. I think Alma's going to be the only one that's going to survive, and. Uh, You know, we'll probably see her somewhere down the road, like if they were to do, uh, you know, a couple of seasons, like how when they did Apocalypse and remember at the end of Murder House, uh, I can't remember what his, what Michael, Michael Landon, remember he was a baby Mm -hmm. in Murder House, but then in Apocalypse, he was a a grown man. So I could see them possibly doing something like that, where it's just like, Alma, she's an adult now, and it's um, I don't I wouldn't say like she would be like the the central character, but I can see like a cameo or a reference somewhere where it's well, just like I'm calling for her to get killed. That's me. Oh, you think so, Alma's gonna die? So we we gonna see. It's coin. Yeah, we gonna see. I'm calling Ursula and, and Harry, and mm-hmm. you're calling Alma. So, uh, final thoughts, Trav, and what do you give this episode? I love this episode, man. I love this season. It blows last season out the water mm-hmm. at this point. And uh, I, I give this episode a, a good nine out of ten. It's a great build up for that season finale next week. What about you? Uh, yeah, I thought it was a really good episode too. I enjoyed everything about it. Um, the actress who plays Alma, like she kills it, man. Like mm-hmm. just you, from going to innocent little girl to I hate you, mom, and I'm smarter and better than you. Uh, like her acting is is phenomenal, like your boy AJ Styles. So for me, I'm gonna give this episode an eight out of ten. I can't wait to see what's gonna happen on next week's episode. Let us know in the comments what you thought about this week's episode. Did you like it? Did you hate it? What's your rating? Trav, let them know where they can find you at the social media land. Hey, you know, you can find your boy on the Instagram at ZK Audio, and then you can find me on the Twitter at T R A V I O S Z K. And of course, if you have a letterbox, I'm also on letterbox at T R A V I O S Z K as well. Where they gonna find podcast number one hero at good sir? You can find me, your hero Benjamin Banks, at King Benji underscore Banks on Twitter and Instagram. And you can find me on Facebook at Benjamin Banks. I should be the first person to pop up. If not, then I need to contact Mr. Zuckerberg. Thank you again for watching our review. Make sure that you check out some more of our reviews that we have here on the channel, along with interviews and reaction videos. Our podcast has brand new episodes every Tuesday. Like we said early on in the review, 
link down in the description. And then also that episode, it is on YouTube, that Friday in video form. So again, thank you for watching this. Like I always say, keep that pinky up, stay positive. We'll see you next time on Leveling Up with Benjamin Banks. Peace. Thanks again, everybody, for watching another episode of Leveling Up with Benjamin Banks. Make sure you like, follow, subscribe to the channel. Podcast, we got that too. Make sure you give us a thumbs up and hit that bell for further episodes and notifications. Thanks a lot to our patrons. And if you don't mind, join the Patreon. We'll be having new specials coming up soon.